Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to do a two-hand tie. But before we start, make sure to hit that subscribe button for more tutorials like this. There are two reasons why you are watching this video. One, you might be watching to study for a practical exam. Second, you are preparing for an actual OR. For this tutorial, I'm gonna use a shoelace and a push-up bar. You can use anything such as yarn or cords and clips or any hooks that you can find. It is important to know that on one end, you will have an instrument or a needle and the other end will be a free end. For reference, I am right-handed so the free end will be at my right hand. Usually what they teach us in med school is to start with your ties cross. Realistically for me, this don't matter. In the operating field, you should be able to manipulate the ties regardless of how you received it. For the two-hand tie, let's start with a pistol grip, like playing with a fake invisible gun. The first part is to make a ring on your left hand. Then, you use your thumb and hook underhand and create a figure 4. So you close the ring and swing to the other side Grab the free end with the thumb and index finger and flip back to the other side. And then you tie by pulling away. There you made your first knot. Next, you use your index finger to hook overhand to create another figure 4. And then you close the ring and swing to the other side. And again, grab the free end with your thumb and index finger and flip to the other side. And this time, you pull towards you. And then, you create another square knot. Usually, you repeat these knots depending on the quality of your tie. Sometimes, like the Vicryl or PDS, they need more than 5 knots as compared to silk ties where you only need 3 knots. The key here is to practice over and over until it becomes a muscle memory. And you won't have to think it through like shooting a basketball. So that's it for today's tutorial. Please feel free to replay this video while you practice. Also, if you like this video, please feel free to comment and ask questions and hit the thumbs up and subscribe button for more tutorials like this. Till next time!